This is another variation of working with rotation from the sideline position. I'll demonstrate. Lying down, hips and knees at 90, toes peeking out. And what I'm going to do in the upper body is start with my, this is why pillow is really good for this one so that I'm not scrunching my shoulder. My bottom arm is out, my top arm is face as palm down on my bottom arm and I'm going to direct my upper body to rotate as I lengthen my arm. And then I'm going to come back, I can do this a few times to get used to this forward rotation where my arm and hand are leading. I'll do it one more time. My head is also rolling. And now I can rotate backward. There's a lot of variations that people do on this one. I'm going to show this particular one. And rotate back. Just let my arm Hey, backward, you have to be careful with your shoulder joint to make sure you're comfortable. And I can go back and forth, so I can go in one direction, come through the neutral point, go in the opposite direction, and come back and forth. And this is the upper body. Now, in the lower body, I'm going to be bringing my top thigh and knee forward, sliding it on the bottom thigh and knee, and then I can come back to neutral, so I can just do a forward movement. My pelvis is actually turning or rotating right now to the left. I can go backward. Now my pelvis is rotating to the right. My thigh and knee, again, are sliding on my bottom knee, and I can go back and forth so that I can rotate my lower body in this manner. Once again, I can put the two together. I can rotate all to the same side. I could rotate upper and lower body forward, and upper and lower body in the opposite direction. Or I could rotate the upper and lower body in opposite directions. So as I rotate my upper body forward, my lower body backward, and vice versa. It can be very challenging trying to pay attention to what's happening in this somatic center area. And then I would rest and turn over and do those movements from the other side.